A member of the African Union come the next AU summit, which will take place next month in Malawi. In 2012, Haiti indicated its interest to move from its observer status to member status. It will be the first time any nation with no geographic connection to the continent of Africa joins the AU. So joining us now to talk about this uh, in our Pretoria studios is His Excellency Ambassador Jacques Junior Baril. He is the Haitian Ambassador to South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Well, thank you for having me. Let us understand, why, why would Haiti uh, decide to join the African Union? Well, I mean, I think it's very important to understand the, the basic of it. I don't think we, we decide. I think it's a place that we are... Uh, entitled to. I think it's a place, it's a place that we earned um, after we fought for our independence 212 years ago. We kind of paved the way for every other African nation um, to be free today. So uh, historically speaking, Haiti actually should have been in the uh, AU already. So we are glad that it's happening now. Um, we are very happy that uh, everybody came to the understanding that our place is actually uh, right there with uh, everybody else from the continent at the AU. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time in discussion. It really has been. Um, but let's, I suppose, look at how uh, Haiti actually hopes that this relationship is going to be mutually beneficial. And, 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 and what will Haiti contribute um, and, and, and better itself at the same time? Well... I, I think I think one of the one of the first thing that we need to understand is um, by being part of the uh, of the African Union, we we opening the way to um, every African living abroad, um, what what we what we will call the African diaspora. We opening the way for them to actually come through, and the same way we are able to actually add to uh, the United States, for instance, because you have almost. 1.2 million Haitian living in the United States, and some of them are doctors, some of them are, are basketball players, lawyers, successful actors. So I think, I think it's time for some of us to come back to our motherland and, and contribute in the same way. And, and, and also, politically speaking, I think our history speaks uh, volume. There's a price that we paid when we took our independence 212 years ago, and, and everybody actually kind of benefit from. And I I think that price alone that we've paid uh, will contribute to a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the the way that we're gonna move forward with this relationship. Yeah, I mean, when I say it's taken a, a, a while, I mean, let's say by, by 2012, uh, this proposition was already under discussion. It was it was expected to happen in 2013. What's what's been the the, the, the what's been stalling this? Well, we, we must admit that you know. Um, when we when we deal with things like that, when we deal with politics, the, the politics plays a lot, you know, and and situations change uh, every now and then in different countries. And we do have a lot of uh, African president that actually supported this movement. Uh, South Africa actually was one of the country that supported the movement a lot um, for us to uh, to be here today. And you know, I'm not even gonna go back to the time. I'm so happy that today it's happening. Um, we've been pushing a lot. I think I've been traveling all around the continent to consult with uh, uh, our our African brothers and today for me is is just a, a great day and uh, we're waiting in June when it becomes officially uh, the day mm -hmm. I mean if we look a little bit at the history of Haiti and let's let's just delve into it I mean Haiti is reportedly one of the most impoverished countries with one of the highest uh, levels of illiteracy yet it's the first to, to, to gain sovereignty. The first European university was opened in Haiti. Um, other than natural disasters, why, why is it that Haiti, I suppose, is not moving forward as fast as it should? And what needs to be done to correct it? Well, you know, I, I, I think in, in situations like this, um, it's very uh, hard to understand why. But I think the why is also very simple to understand because we are a country that, uh, that has been going through political turmoil for many years. And one of those reasons, one, one of those reasons is it's the price that we are paying. You have to remember, when we took our independence, we were actually uh, took out of the world. And I think South Africa is very, uh, is one of the country that would understand um, uh, the situation. And, and we also, you know, in a situation where we are in between 
um, um, you know, political parties that that not ne who doesn't necessarily see the the, the interests of the country at heart. Um, but I think we're making great progress. You know, when you when you take for example, we had this earthquake in 2010. Um, if you go to Haiti today, you cannot tell that we had an earthquake. Obviously, there's a lot to be done, um, and we are we are doing a lot of these things. So, you know, I think I think it's a matter of time, and I think that move with the AU will definitely be a a a, a a huge move for the country because we're going to be able now to sit and and directly uh, speak to our brothers. You know, they said to know where you're going, you not to you need to know where you're from, and this is where we're from. Africa is Haiti. Haiti is Africa. Yeah, so I think yeah. that move alone will help us to get through. Yeah, just just finally and and very quick. I mean, we talk about Haiti, and I know that some of the African states, including here in South Africa, I mean, we pledged so much cash to Haiti, and I imagine that 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 really did invoke uh, confidence within Haiti. But just on a closing note, uh, because of the history, Haitians are considered Africans in the diaspora. What would you say are the biggest commonalities? Let, let's end off the interview like that. Oh, everything. <laughs> the question is simple, it's everything. And I can, I can actually uh, give you the, 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 the example of a couple of South African friends of mine that I took to Haiti uh, a couple of months ago. And the minute they landed, they 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 felt like they closed their eyes for for 18 hours and then they woke up in Africa again. Um, so I think we are the one we are actually for me we are actually the head office of Africa and the Caribbean and, and the Americas. So that's Lovely. what we are. Um, everything everything about us is African. Excellent. Let's leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us here on the program talking about Haiti being uh, admitted into the African Union and we were talking to the ambassador representing uh, Haiti in South Africa. His Excellency Jacques Junior Baril. All right, it's seven o'clock here.